Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke and it's Merlin Monday. It feels so exciting saying that, knowing the series is dead. Oh my god, that sounds a bit aggressive. But it just feels so nice to still be doing a form of Merlin content, even though the series is behind us. Today, I think we're watching Colin Morgan and Bradley James's video diary while they were on set. I just feel like that's going to be kind of like fun to watch. And the idea of these extra Merlin Mondays was just to kind of watch the fun stuff and make us all pretend that the sad stuff doesn't exist. Maybe a bit like the bloopers and a bit like episode one, it's still going to make me sad anyway, because seeing everybody so happy is literally going to make me be like, why? I am using nature's natural light today. So if I suddenly go dark, it's because clouds have gone in front of the sun. I'm sorry. I heard a noise. Hello. But yes, video diary sort of fun shenanigans today. I'm imagining like banter, inside jokes, funny tings. I hate that I said that. Honestly, like I hate myself. <laughs> This is gonna turn into like some sort of counseling thing. I don't know how to do YouTube videos anymore. Doing Merlin as a series, I was like on it, but like now it's finished and it spiraled my brain into mashed potato. I now don't know how to function or operate as a human being. And I didn't really know how to do that to start with. So I'm a lost cause. <laughs> Merlin video diaries, fun times. Let's go. <laughs> I can't talk. Castle, is oh. absolutely it's so beautiful. And, and I think I'm going to go there at some point in my life. It's, it's just oh, his accent. Fantastic. I can't do accents. Why did I attempt? Oh. Oh. Bless him, learning his lines. That's so pure. I hate the sun. I would never be sat in it anyway. I love read throughs. One of my favourite things is watching read throughs. Things don't get off to a great start when they meet each other. Do they, Merlin? Yeah, whatever. It just bullies me on set and off set. It's just a constant thing. I mean, since we've come to France, it's got really bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Were they acting throughout the whole of Merlin? Because it doesn't look like it. <laughs> They're so stupid. I love them. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so attractive. Once again, the balance is restored to nature. What does that even mean? <laughs> Ch 
children. I often find my hotel do not disturb sign has been turned round when I get a day off, so it says, please can you make up my room? So I'll get like a knock on the door at like whatever, nine o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to have a light in. I'm like, oh. <laughs> His accent is everything. My God! Okay, I love the Eurostar. Reminds me of Disneyland. <laughs> Living the best, the, the 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 BBC lifestyle. I think my Wi-Fi is on the wrong thing. The Wi-Fi my sucks. House. <laughs> oh my God, guys! I meant to say the Wi-Fi my house. <laughs> Sucks. When I tell you that I don't know how to function anymore, I literally mean I don't know how to function anymore. <laughs> I meant to say, oh, I really read. <laughs> I meant to say, the Wi Fi in my <laughs> the Wi Fi in my house sucks, but <laughs> I just said the Wi Fi in my sucks house. Oh my god. <laughs> I blame Merlin entirely, I think it's ruined me. We've all been in coach 5 and Katie's been in coach 16 and she's just caught up with us. Aww. Yeah. That looks so cute, all of them just chilling in Eurostar. Up here. King. Wow. I want to go, I want to go so bad. When the world is back to normal, I'm going. This is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute that they're going for a little day out. <laughs> Oh my god, that's disgusting. The front of the roller coaster is the best place to be because if you're at the back and somebody in the front throws up, you get the stick in your face. Whereas if you're in the front, the only stick you're getting in your face is your own. Tips and tricks with Lukey Reed. <laughs> I love him so much. It's, it's nice to be amongst um, the youngsters and <laughs> their enthusiasm and their energies instead of being amongst a bunch of booties. Oh, here's someone who should be nervous. Uh, Angel. Uh, uh, oh, the bands. The cast banter. I miss them. <laughs> She is a queen. I think that will do for watching the video diaries. They were just really cute and it was really nice to see sort of everybody um, in their sort of casual, sort of natural behind the scenes state. I hope that the last couple of Merlin Mondays have been a bit of a cheer up. We've rewatched episode one, we've laughed at some bloopers and we've watched some video diaries together. Next week will be the last Merlin Monday. 
where I will be sort of giving my end of series review. Then we move on. I'm, I hope a lot of you have seen the community post that I put up, um, sort of explaining what's coming. Uh, if you haven't, I'll quickly tell you. <laughs> um, Doctor Who Reactions will be resuming the minute we're allowed to, and Musketeer Reactions will be coming later this year, uh, but before that we will be watching Atlantis. Um, so it's very heavy BBC related shows, don't really know why, uh, but it just sort of happened. But yeah, so that is kind of the last Merlin Monday, but there is also one coming next week. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, leave comments in the comment section below, click like, click the bell, check out my social medias in the description, and I will see you next week for a Q&A series review of Merlin, the last Merlin Monday. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is I never left you. All through my wild days, my mad existence, I kept my promise. Don't keep your distance. I just don't know when to stop. I can't see the line. I've got to go. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>